Question 17. The graph of a quadratic function is shown on the grid. Which statement is best supported by the graph? Let's go ahead and go one by one and see which one is true. So remember, whenever you see best supported, I want to know which one is true. So the first one says the function has a zero at six. Okay, so what is a zero? Zero is another word for x-intercept. Okay, and that basically means where it touches or intersects the x-axis. Okay, so let's take a look at where does this uh, parabola, where does it touch the x-axis? It looks like it touches at negative 6 and 0. So here the zeros are at negative 6 and 0. These are the zeros right here. So is that true? No. I want a negative 6 and a 0. So A is not correct. The minimum value of the function is 9. Okay, so minimum. Let's see what is minimum. Okay, so there's two types of parabolas, correct? So there's this one and there's this one. This one has a minimum. This one has a maximum. And how I like to remember it is like maximum is like really high, a very high uh, number or a very high height. I like to think about this one like a mountain. So this one is like a mountain. This one actually has a maximum. Okay, and maximum is the height. It looks like the maximum is at nine. Okay, so this is not correct. It doesn't have a minimum. There's a maximum. Okay, so that is not correct. The number is correct, but it's not minimum. Okay, the next one is C. It says the vertex of the graph is 9, negative 3. Okay, let's see what is the vertex. The vertex is that center point right there. Okay, so that's the vertex. Let's see what the ordered pair of that vertex is. Remember x first after y. Looks like x is negative 3 and y is 9. Is that correct? No, it's not. It has to be in order. It's negative 3 first after 9, okay? So negative 3, negative 9 is like somewhere down here. That is not correct. So it looks like D has to be my answer. Let's see if that's correct. The equation of the axis of symmetry of the graph is x equals negative 3. Okay, axis of symmetry. So what I want you guys to remember for axis of symmetry is think of like a face, a human face. Okay, axis means line, and if you cut the face in half, symmetry means the left side and the right side look the same. Okay, so basically, I'm going to put a line right in the center of the graph, and the left side and the right side are going to be equal. They're going to be the same. Okay, and you're going to see where, does, where is this line. Well, it looks like this line touches one number, touches right over there. Okay, negative 3, and negative 3 is on which line? It's on x, so this is x equals negative 3. That is the axis of symmetry, and that is correct. So D is the correct answer. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. See you again soon.